All right, bags packed. 3.15 a.m. Delta flight departing LAX, 6 a.m. Great. So 3.15, LAX, 6 a.m., plenty of time, right? Wrong. I'm in San Diego. I need to hustle. Where am I going? Well, I'll hold off on that, but I will say one thing. We are doing things to the nines today. That's right. We're doing things to the nines. So I would have made it on time. I, I did make it on time, I'm here. And my flight is delayed by three hours. So I always think that LAX is kind of like the CIA. Expect the unexpected. Um, this airport always freaks me out. When you zig, it zags and vice versa. So I got three hours and I'm at terminal three, which is a little dilapidated. And uh, I'm gonna walk into the Sky Club I haven't been to this one. Apparently this Sky Club's getting remodeled, so I'm gonna walk in there and uh, see what it's like. Sky Club number one. Uh, I've got the Sky Club number one. This one opens early. I don't know what time it opens at, but this one opens early. And then this one over here opens at 6 a.m. This is the bigger remodeled one. Um, or how are you? So this is the bigger remodeled one. This is the smaller one over here. As you can see, this is kind of like a stage prep one. We're gonna go over to this one and see what it's like. But yeah, my flight's delayed by three hours. So I'm gonna go some Bloody Marys. LAX took all the youthfulness and exuberance out of me. I'm supposed to leave here at 6 o'clock in the morning. It's now 8.30. Now I'm headed to a different terminal. There's no more mystery. There's no more mystique. I'm going to Portland, Oregon. But we're still doing the nines. All I have to do is just figure out where I'm going. Shuttle to Terminal 2. Hi. Hi. I woke up in Portland and uh, it's probably the first time in a long time I've time traveled. I mean, you can look in my eyes and uh, yeah. Listen, it happens. What do you want me to do in a three hour delay? It was a three hour delay. Now I'm in Portland and we're still doing things to the nines. <laughs> We're doing things to the nines in Portland. What does that even mean? What does that even mean? I looked it up and uh, apparently it's a reference to an old military regimen or when you get a nice suit you need nine yards. All right, we are doing things to the nines. This place is pretty trippy. There's a club. 6.38 p.m. I love club lounges. Makes me feel so special. 
I feel like I'm part of the gang. quick room tour of the nines which is a luxury collection hotel the luxury collection sits in an interesting space within marriott's portfolio it was originally um, a starwood or, or sheridan property so it has nothing to do with the autograph collection which a lot of people are familiar with um, but for a while the luxury collection hotels and the autograph collection hotels were autonomous from each other even though they had very similar styles and very similar amenities a luxury collection hotel um, Hotel Ivy, Minneapolis, the Nines in Portland. It's gonna give you that autograph collection feel. It's gonna give you something that's bespoke to the locality, but it's gonna give you some class as well. It sits in between probably autograph collection and then St. Regis, Ritz-Carlton. So it's gonna fit right in between those two. So you're gonna get some style and you're also going to get uh, some class and uh, your, your high-end amenities. So you walk in and immediately I'm a little disappointed because this room kind of resembles what European proportions would be like, right? You just have your bed and that's pretty much it. But I'll get to that in a second. What they did was actually pretty ingenious. They compartmentalized the rooms so you get all the space, right? Bathroom compartmentalized. Desk, work area compartmentalized. So if you sit on the bed, let's do the bed test real quick. Oh. Yeah, I laid down for a second, I'm not gonna lie. I cheated already. It's so comfortable. It's really, really nice. Um, phenomenal bed, amazing. So if you sit down on your bed, the room is actually really, really big. You just have to imagine it not compartmentalized with these walls down, okay? So there is your bathroom, there's your work area. If you envision it a completely open space, it's actually a really, really large room. Immediately I get the feel that it's like the Cosmopolitan, uh, in Las Vegas. So, bed, very, very comfortable. Mini bar, two free waters, which is great. I think it just oozes class when you buy something in bulk like these Snickers. You probably buy, what, a, a big bag of 100 or 200 of those for six, seven bucks, and you put like 10 in a nicely packaged plastic Ziploc, and then sell it for like 10 bucks. See what the price is. Oh, eight dollars. So you could buy an entire bag at Walmart or 7-Eleven, the, the big bag, the Easter bag, uh, for eight dollars, or you could have the repackaged one for eight dollars. I think that just oozes class when they when they repackage and repurpose something and then they uh, charge a tenfold increase. I find it very humorous as well. Okay, mini bar. What do we have in here? Pepsi. This is a Pepsi property. All right. So you have your Pepsis, you have, so you have a Bud Light, and then a Total Domination IPA. I would presuppose that that Total Domination IPA is gonna be a local craft beer, uh, just judging on what type of property this is and, and where we are in Portland. Um, I think that's a pretty safe assumption. So you have your Bud Light, you have your Total Domination, you have your Voss still sparkling, and then an array of whiskeys and gins and whatever. So we just gotta knock on the door, complimentary turn down service. Sometimes I forget that you have to put your do not disturb sign on really, really nice hotels. They will knock on the door throughout the day to ensure you're doing okay. And if you do want your privacy, and if you do want your seclusion, you need to put your do not disturb sign on the door because they will ask you if you want your mini bar replenished. They will ask you if you want turn down service. They will make sure you're doing okay. They will bring you random gifts and treats, um, especially the higher up you are in their ecosystem uh, on the Marriott Bonvoy rankings, um, they're gonna check on you constantly, which is not a bad thing. I appreciate the customer service, but if you want your privacy and you want things to be quiet, when you're at an upper echelon hotel, make sure to put the do not disturb sign on there. I've been here for like an hour and it's already been knocked on twice. You can never go wrong with customer service, but it is just a reminder to do so. 
closet. Uh, if you're serious about your shoe game, okay, you got a little shoehorn and, uh, and a brush. Got some slippers here. The room is a little dark for me. And that is exemplified by the closet. Okay. Um, you do have some padded hangers in here if you want to hang up a nice dress or a sport coat or whatever. Let's move on to the bathroom quickly. Really thick, plush, dense robe. Awesome. Um, Luxury Collection has some of the best robes um, that I've dealt with. And I'll get right to it. These are the absolute best towels ever. Um, I believe that they are unique to Luxury Collection hotels because these are the same towels that were at Hotel Ivy when I stayed over there this Christmas in Minneapolis. Now, listen, you stay in a lot of hotels like me, you pick up on the little things, right? And you look at these towels and you're like, oh, okay, there's a one, two, three, four. No, this is one towel. That's how thick this thing is and how big this thing is. I mean, if, watch this. I can't even. <laughs> These, these things are plush, they are long, they are huge, and uh, these are the best towels that I've ever had at any hotel, period. If you're staying at the hotel for towels, and I don't know why any person would do that, you gotta check these out. I could rave and rant about these uh, for probably about 10 minutes. Best, best, best. Did I mention these are the best? Okay, so, makeup mirror. Looks like you have some more towels down here. These ones are not as large. So you see, this would be something that you would normally get at a hotel, okay? And even these are really, really thick and nice. These quilted ones, these quilted towels are the best. All right, enough of towels. Okay, a scale if you want to remind yourself how little progress you've made towards your summer goal is right down there, all right? Be kind, body lotion, all right? Get some mouthwash here. You have a nail file, a couple makeup removers, towelette, some more of these, and then you have some uh, Q-tips, and then last but not least, you have a shower cap. Okay, so that's just the kit. But here's a shower here, and then single sink. So keep that in mind. At least in this room, it's a single sink. All right, and um, yeah. Yeah. One thing I do not like. And it's a lot of hotels are going this way. It just feels a little Fairfield in. It feels a little, little lower class to me when you have to have the uh, vending machine or dispensable liquids. I like to get my little ones. I don't take little ones with me anymore. I used to all the time, but I like the fresh ones. I just don't like this. Um, I don't know, it, doesn't, it doesn't feel custom. I don't know. It doesn't feel like it's a unique experience. I feel like other people have been in a shower, and of course they have. Um, obviously it's a hotel, but I don't want to feel that, right? I want, when I walk in the shower, I want something that's new and fresh, like this uh, bar of soap right here, that I'm going to open up and have a unique experience and have it with myself. I don't like to, uh, to share these. Cosmopolitan-esque wallpaper. Wallpaper's making a huge comeback. You have your little uh, chandeliers here. Okay. So walking back. I got a nice big bed, nice big king size bed. I'll do the bed test one more time. Yes, yeah. I don't have a problem sleeping tonight. That's really, really good. The hotel is an atrium. All right, so it has an inward, outward type deal to it. And you can literally see across to someone else's room. So if you do want your privacy, at least put up the sheer. And if you want total privacy, obviously pull the curtain. But it is an atrium, so you have an open type feel. Some people down there having some drinks. There's the bar. And then if you shut it, obviously, there you go. Your lightning connector, which is good. And you can see how the room does get a little dark. The room does get a little dark once you pull this, all right? That is my only gripe about this room. And I don't need my room to be blistering white by any means. It just seems that like over here in this area over here, it just is a little dark and it doesn't have to be, especially since it's so light and bright out here. I just feel there's a contrast there and I, I feel it's uh, there's, it, it lacks continuity. Inside the rooms, you just have this earthy wallpaper and then you have the chandeliers. I'm not hating on the chandeliers at all. I just don't understand. I just feel like the concept isn't blended 
the best it could be. Nice work area if you want to get some work done, and that's why I'm traveling is to get work done. So a nice workspace. I'll definitely put this to use. Okay. Um, they give you some events. What's going on in the neighborhood? And they also list all their concierges, which I think is really, really cool. Uh, this is well done. Uh, obviously, it is put out every single month, and it isn't just a bunch of random pamphlets and a bunch of samplers of what's going on, do a brewery tour, do this, do that. It is customized to what's going on, something for Mother's Day, City Fair and Fireworks, Wine Country Weekend, and then of course, all of the concierges. A little accent chair, if you wanna do a little reading. Looks like it has some miles on it, which I'm not opposed to. I like the patina on it. And uh, if you wanna read a chapter of a book or you just want to lament on a topic like I am now, um, or just chill, it's not bad. It's, it's not bad. So this is a quick rundown of the nines and uh, it's a quick room rundown. I'm gonna order some room service. We're gonna see what that is like. We're gonna take a look at the menu and um, I'll check in a little bit. All right, so I lost my swivel microphone, which means I'm recording on my iPhone for the rest of the trip. I'm not gonna give up on you. Uh, even though I felt like it, I hate recording without an external mic. Nonetheless, room service is here. And we have food. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so what do we do? We got the deviled eggs. All right. Yeah. Spinach au gratin. It's like a wheat cracker. Okay. Chicken lollipops. Feels a little thick. All right. Shrimp cocktail. And a burger. All right, so I'm gonna dig into these, take some pictures, and then report back and let you know what my favorites are. All right, so let me rank these quickly. Number one, it doesn't take any forethought at all. It doesn't take any cognition. It's, 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 it's a simple, simple choice. It is the lollipops. These chicken lollipops. Sorry. There are chicken wing and buffalo wing connoisseurs out there, and I never really understood why. I always found them to be dry, overly salted, and um, just really not the best. If you get good chicken wings, which is what these are, man, they're a game changer. So, if you like chicken, like buffalo wings, if you like fowl, you gotta try these. These are so good. This is my last lollipop and it's going down. See what just fell off the bone like that? I mean, it is dense. Mm. Number two would be the deviled eggs. Number three, I'll go with the burger. And then uh, it's a tie between four and five, the spinach and the uh, and the shrimp. I'll go with the shrimp and say number four, spinach is number five. So like I said, I lost my external mic on my GoPro, so we're going to iPhone. The hotel is great, I love the blue hallways. I like the chandelier. And a couple hours like a members only escape lounge. It's a place to come in and get some breakfast in the morning or like some drinks at night, so let's go check it out. seating, you got some reading material, it's just like a nice comfy lounge to escape. Alright, continue to shoot on my iPhone since I lost my external mic on my camera. And uh, it's kind of comfortable, I'm actually on my iPhone, it's not as cumbersome as, uh, as a vlogging setup. Anyway, hungry after my smorgasbord meal, and I'm heading down to the on-site steakhouse, which is called Urban Farmer. It's on the eighth floor. It's a farm-to-table concept, and farm-to-table is, well, farm-to-table. And the goal of any farm-to-table is to cut out the middleman. It has an indoor hydroponics farm. It has uh, five honeycombs. It's a uh, farm-to-table, so I'm looking forward to it. It's in a beautiful atrium, so I'm famished. Uh, it's about 9 p.m. I'm gonna head down there. 
uh, again, it's called Urban Farmer on the eighth floor, and then headed up stairs to the 15th floor to Departure, which is the rooftop bar. So, go on the Urban Table first, and then I'm going to head up to uh, Departure on the 15th floor. Waigu, Colorado, 12 ounce, this is half of a 12 ounce New York strip. Got some pork loin right there. I don't even know what this is, this is madness. Twice over potato, tart, cheddar, loaded, etc. And uh, asparagus with uh, the negated health benefits, <laughs> right? Tuna pokey. Thank you. All right, and the piece of the other stomps. Pineapple upside down cake. I haven't had a pineapple upside down cake in many, many years. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. Just finished dinner at Departure and we're gonna head to the gym. Uh, we're not working out though. We're too show ready. I do wanna give you a tour of the gym. I was here twice already, so I have a, a pretty good synopsis of what's going on here. Uh, unfortunately, there are people in the gym and I did not want to invade their privacy, so I'll give you a tour right now. It's always great to tour these places. Though, but I just don't want to so you walk in and uh, like that barbell sound, by the way, do you hear that? Very industrial. All right, so some good body art. We walk into the left. Bathroom, uh, full bathroom, obviously. You know that. You know, if you really want to get down to the gym bathroom, you can. Shower, toilet, sink. What's going on over here? Oh, all right. Not for me. Uh, when you walk in over here. A plethora of bottled waters, a plethora. And by the way, this is a life hack. I was gonna do a standalone life hack, but I'll just give one right now. Life hack, never pay for hotel water, ever. It's federal law to have to have water in a gym. Uh, at least at a hotel. You'll always find water in a hotel gym. So don't ever pay for water in a gym. So you walk in, tons of towels. I'm gonna take some of these with me, by the way. Tons of towels, Ooh, cold towels. Towels galore. Uh, yeah, so fruit. This was really uh, tart last time, so I didn't really enjoy that. But if you like tart, uh, this is for you. Okay. Segregated yoga. All right. With a curtain. It's a curtain, so choose your own privacy on that one. Make sure that one is nice for shut. Uh, anyway. A litany of cardio machines. One, two, three, four, five. 
five and five, I count 15. Here's the coolest thing though, is that you have some Pelotons. All right, so this is really, really cool. I don't know how much these machines cost. I believe they're thousands of dollars. And I'm sure this, a lot of this equipment is several thousand dollars. But um, really, really cool to see some Pelotons at this place. I love this hotel, by the way. This hotel is awesome. It's one of my favorite in the country. I'm gonna do an overview when I get home, just so I can be a little bit removed from it, but this hotel is awesome. Um, heavily weighted towards the cardio side of the gym. Typically, that's pretty common. I'd say the majority of gym goers and hotels are cardio based. I'd like to see a bit more gym equipment, but it's not bad. You got two benches, weights up to 50, which is standard practice. Got a couple kettlebells and um, one regular bench, one adjustable bench. I don't know why I don't go too adjustable. Both lie flat, so let's upgrade this one right here. All right, leg equipment next. So do some hammies, do some quads, abs, shoulders, back, thighs, tries, chest. So all your major muscle groups are done in this gym. I like the flooring. It seems like it's, uh, I don't think it's real wood. Who cares? Awesome gym, awesome hotel. Uh, TV in here, they have the Trailblazers game on. It's the Trailblazers are in the playoffs currently. So if you're a Trailblazers fan, you can work out and watch the game. Full length mirrors. It's, uh, it's a great hotel gym. I always practice and preach proportionality. Practice and preach proportionality at hotel gyms because the hotel gym should be proportionate and should replicate the size of the gym. And this one is pretty proportionate. Uh, it's classy, it's a luxury collection, so you expect a decent gym. Something more than your basic two treadmills, which we certainly have here. And uh, the Pelotons, a cornucopia of cardio, and of course, um, a nice little free weight section. So, it just tops it off. It's, uh, I, had a, I had a great time. I, I can't wait to come back. And uh, I'm gonna go home, I've been here for three days, I'm going home tomorrow. I'm gonna sleep on it again and give my final review but I've had a ton of fun here and I can't wait to come back. At least as of right now, I can't think of anything that's gonna change my mind as I don't have any more touches with the hotel, meaning there's not gonna be another gym session. I've, ate, I've eaten at both restaurants. Uh, I've stayed here for three nights, so I have a pretty good uh, grasp of what my experience is gonna be like and there's nothing else. I just have to wake up tomorrow morning and go to the airport, so there's nothing else. Guys left and I, I love the place, so I can't think of anything that's going to change my mind. But nonetheless, this is the hotel gym at the Nines, and uh, this place is the Nine.